Friends, I have a new update for SNAP benefits this month. Millions of SNAP recipients can expect to see their monthly benefit checks increase very soon. Low-income households and recipients of SSI, SSDI, and RRB may be able to claim an extra $100 a month from this new plan. Friends, this is great news for many of you, so please make sure you watch until the end of this video if you are a SNAP benefit recipient. Also, I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week to say thank you so much for watching. If you would like to enter the giveaways, do make sure you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. But instead of addressing the rising cost of everyday goods, Democrats in the Biden administration continue to push for more legislation that will make these problems worse. The Inflation Reduction Act, which I like to call the Income Reduction Act, did nothing to help Iowans who are struggling to make ends meet. Instead, several hundred billion dollars will be spent to fund partisan pet projects like doubling the size of the IRS. And less than two weeks after the Income Reduction Act was signed into law, President Biden announced his student loan forgiveness plan, which will cost hardworking Iowans and Americans even more. We need to increase domestic energy production to lower energy prices and curb our dependence on other nations, and we need to enact policies that allow Americans to keep more of their hard-earned paychecks. Inflation, unlike what you saw this weekend on 60 Minutes, where it was poo-pooed and downplayed, inflation is an issue every single American is facing right now. And the Biden administration has made it abundantly clear that fixing the problem is not a priority. Thank you, and I'll now yield to Representative Tony Gonzalez from... Now, friends, here is the breaking news. This October, it will be a little easier for food stamp recipients to afford more groceries. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, their monthly benefits are going up 12.5%, or $104 for a family of four. And that's thanks to soaring inflation. That brings a maximum benefit for a family of four to receive $939 a month. That is up from $835. Benefit levels are based on the cost of the USDA's thrifty food plan each June. And the change takes effect in October. This year's cost of living adjustment is the largest annual percentage increase since the Thrifty Food Plan was developed in 1975 and stems from the massive jump in inflation since last year. Dottie Rosenbaum, Director of Federal SNAP Policy at the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities said, the COLA increase will put SNAP benefits better in line with the increase in the cost of food over the past year. Nearly 41 million Americans were enrolled in the food stamp program in June. According to the most recent USDA data, the average monthly benefit is just over $218 per person, even with this large adjustment. Food stamp recipients are already falling behind since inflation has continued to rise since June. Grocery prices have jumped 13.5% in August. Egg prices soared nearly 40%, while milk rose 17% and bread jumped 16%. The cost of chicken grew 16%, while fruit and vegetables together are up more than 9%. The higher costs for food are putting a great strain on many Americans' budgets, including those who receive food stamps. Many are turning to food pantries to supplement what they can buy in the supermarket. Some 40% of food pantries and soup kitchens in the Feeding America network saw an increase in the number of people served in July compared with June. Many food stamp recipients are still benefiting from a crisis relief program that Congress had enacted early in the crisis. Lawmakers raise monthly food stamp allotment to the maximum amount of their family size, which is a minimum of $95 a month. Some 34 U.S. states and the District of Columbia still have this program in place. A separate 15% boost to benefits ended a year ago. Individuals who are receiving food stamps also received a major permanent increase in benefits last year, 
when the USDA revised its thrifty food plant formula. More than 600,000 Massachusetts households received SNAP benefits. And this week, the Baker administration announced a 12% increase to SNAP benefits starting next month. The SNAP program provides eligible residents with monthly financial assistance to purchase groceries. More than a million individuals in Massachusetts receive SNAP benefits. For those who utilize SNAP benefits, electronic benefit transfer cards can be used at nearly 5,000 stores in the state. Monthly benefits from SNAP will rise by 12%. This comes out to $25 to $30 a person. Those who are receiving the maximum benefit of $250 per month will now be receiving $281. SNAP caseloads are about 35% higher than they were pre-crisis. Friends, this is great news for many of you. Friends, the key word for this video is Jordan Lake. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Jordan Lake, and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure, friends, that you are subscribed to my channel. A bill to avert a federal government shutdown passed in the House of Representatives just hours before the midnight deadline. The House voted 230 to 201 to pass the stopgap legislation which will keep our government funded through mid-December, and that's past the midterm elections. The Senate also voted 72 to 25 to advance the legislation on Thursday afternoon after some stumbles over energy permitting reform. But the legislation moved forward after Senate Democrat Jill Manchin agreed to drop the provision, which was opposed by some progressives and most Republicans from the continuing resolution. All 25 no votes came from the GOP side of the aisle. Republicans tried to get the continuing resolution to lapse early next year, rather than mid-December, in the hopes that the GOP will gain control of the House after the November midterm election. Well, my great and awesome friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Saturday. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me every single time I post a video. And I greatly appreciate all of you for joining me here every day. Remember, friends, I'll be announcing a winner for the Walmart gift card giveaway in a video later tomorrow. Please enter the keywords in the comment section below and do stay tuned for that video. Thank you, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed weekend.